Imagine a career where the mission is to help the community and individuals meet their basic food, shelter, and healthcare needs. This is the work of a Human Services Technician, or HST. I'm Lee Tomorello, Director of Kern County Human Services, and I actually began my career as an HST. The purpose of this video is to show you what it's like to be an HST and give you a sense of what the job entails day to day. Simply put, an HST helps people get connected to important programs like Medi-Cal, CalFresh, Cover California, CalWorks, and other general assistance programs. HSTs are stationed both in Bakersfield and our district offices throughout Kern County. To do this job effectively, the technician must first learn our eligibility system software, the multifaceted regulations, and the budgeting guidelines for each of our programs. There's a lot to learn. Those that are selected to join the team will participate in a seven to 10 week training program and complete a one year probationary period. Training consists of instructional and practical exercises, as well as weekly testing to demonstrate your understanding of the position. The job is divided into two major functions, intake and ongoing. Intake is all about determining a person's eligibility for benefits. As an HST, you'll conduct both face-to-face -face and phone interviews to review application forms and supporting documents. It's a highly technical job with a very human side. As challenging as it is rewarding, every determination affects someone's life. Uh, I am a human services technician three. I am what they call intake. We um, screen people to see if they are eligible for any of our programs. Uh, it's an adventure every day. The most rewarding is knowing that I help someone, help them get out of their situation that is most of the time a bad situation. We are sometimes the last resort a person has. There was a client, a gentleman, homeless, he came in and um, it was hot outside. It was the summer. He gave us all his paperwork out of a torn plastic bag and when I asked him for his ID, he pulled it out of his boot. And it was a military ID. And it upset me that this man had nowhere to go. So being able to help him made my day. I was able to help him with food stamps and Medi-Cal. I granted his case immediately. I walked him over to get his EBT card. And before he left, he shook my hand and asked if I was gonna be his worker. And I said, no, I'm, you are gonna be transferred. Why? He said, you're the only person that's been nice to me in a long time. And that has stuck with me. It is a stressful job, but yes, it is worth it. You are making a difference. You will sleep better at night knowing you help someone. Um, HSTs have a, a huge impact on the community. We have thousands of cases every day, thousands of families that need help with, you know, Medi-Cal, um, food, and every single day they work to approve cases, answer questions. Um, all day long it's what they do for thousands of our community members. The most rewarding thing that comes from being an HST or even a supervisor is just the, the families you get to help every day. Um, there's been numerous times that um, I've helped families in need, you know, I just one that I can think of. A single dad came in, first time dad, he had just lost his job and he needed help um, feeding his newborn and he needed help with employment and I was able to, you know, he was eligible for a cash aid program and I was able to get that approved for him as quickly as possible and, you know, sent the referrals out, he got help with finding employment and Within probably like six months, he was completely, you know, independent and self-sufficient and able to care for his daughter the way he wanted to. So that's just one example, but that happens daily. Ongoing is a maintenance portion of the job. Some of the work of an ongoing human services technician is done in a service center where you communicate with customers by phone. This is where you record and update a customer's case information, like household income, other life changes, and offer referrals based on our customers' needs. Other ongoing HSTs work in an office setting and complete annual renewals, process requests from customers in person, and process requests received by mail. So I do ongoing. It's more like doing applications, renewals. They already have established cases, but they need to recertify every year. What drew me to this position is that I'm not born in the US. So I was born in Mexico, I speak Spanish and English, so I wanted to help people that speak Spanish and explain what kind of programs we offer, why we're requesting information, and explain to them a little further why everything's being requested of them and not just require them to turn it in. I think the most joy of my job is just feeling like you
you help somebody. It's a rewarding experience being part of the community and being able to help people that really do need help. There is one client that I recall that they had a difficult case, they had a family of six, and there was some verification that was missing, so it delayed their benefits. I worked with her and then she was, she was able to get her benefits that day. We put a rush on it and she was able to get the food that day for her family. I come from a large family and I know at this time that you know times are really hard and trying to feed everyone and, and if you're expecting your benefits and you did everything you possibly could do but you missed one thing. I took the time, I had the patience and I sat with her and we worked it out and that's why that stuck out because you know I really wanted to do all that I can. I do that with all my with all my clients is to make sure that I can go that extra mile. If we have the information or if we can get the information we need to process the benefits, then that's what we're gonna do. This is this is a great job. You have great benefits, you got great pay. It is challenging, but at the end is rewarding, uh, knowing that you helped. To me, that is worth the challenge. I'm proud to work, you know, at DHS. I'm proud to work with a large group of people that feel the same way that I do, that they, we're all here to serve our community, and it makes me feel proud. It is a challenging position, meaning, you know, you learn something new every day, the learning never stops, um, but also that it's very rewarding and that you get to help families every day and individuals every day with different needs, um, but every day is a chance to make a difference in someone's life, and I think that's the biggest thing. There is a lot of room to grow. There's a lot of help. There's different departments. There's different positions. I feel like there's a bunch of opportunity here. I started, I was an office services technician, and I just thought one day, I'm going to try this. And I tried it, and I succeeded. And then now I watched my supervisors, and I said, oh my goodness, I want to try being a supervisor. So I tried that, and this is where I am. So you just never know where it may lead. I hope that gave you some insight into day in the life of an HSC. It's a rewarding career that makes a huge impact not only on our economy, but the individuals and families in our community.